Hi everyone, Dr. Mike here. I'm going to talk to you about NSAIDs in under two minutes. Now, NSAIDs are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and they are taken to stop inflammation, pain and fever. Now, before we begin, we need to talk about prostaglandins. These are physiologically active lipids that are made from cell membranes, specifically by two enzymes, COX-1 and COX-2. Now, the prostaglandins produced by these enzymes, they promote inflammation, pain, fever and allow for the kidneys to be perfused, so fed. Now, COX-1 specific prostaglandins, they help maintain the integrity of the gut, so bicarbonate and mucus, and they also promote platelet aggregation, so that's clotting. Now those prostaglandins produced by COX-2 are present in high quantities in joints, think arthritis, and can do the opposite, they can uh, reduce platelet aggregation, so anti-clotting. Now let's talk about some NSAIDs, first of all aspirin. Aspirin what that does is it inhibits specifically COX-1, so I put on this side. Stops inflammation, pain, fever, high quantities, renal perfusion, but it also can damage the integrity of the gut and can reduce platelet aggregation, which is one of the reasons why uh, individuals with cardiovascular risk take it. When we look at something like celecoxib, which is also known as Celebrex. Celecoxib is COX-2 specific inhibitor, stops inflammation, pain, fever, high quantities, renal perfusion, quite good for arthritis because of the prostaglandins in the joints, but theoretically can increase platelet aggregation. However, Celecoxib doesn't necessarily seem to do this, but the risk is there. Ibuprofen blocks both. Naproxen blocks both. Diclofenac blocks both. But what you're going to find is naproxen, probably more so COX-1, diclofenac, more so COX-2. 